we are going to build a web scraper cloud and cursor to build it up quickly create a new next.js app npx create next app latest ai web scraper so these are the settings i'm giving everything except customize default import alias is yes cd into that and i'm going to open my cursor cursor has a new feature called uh, projects it used to be projects but now they have renamed it to notepad basic scraping function if you sign up for cursor you get two weeks free trial so this is what we have now so far goal create an ai web scraper llm to be used to open ai workflow user inputs the url to be scraped user also inputs the fields to be extracted input is fetched using Cheerion puppeteer and and a simple fetch this is then converted into markdown using html to text user specified values are extracted and displayed in a nice table guidelines i'm just specifying server actions i am using an xjs application 14 plus application using app router and src directory server actions should be placed in app actions use chat scene components for ui elements telfin for styling i'm storing this in a notepad so that i can be i can use this history over and over again in new composer windows so i'll just come here to the actual composer and create a web scraping as per the instructions basic web scraping function and i'll also do code base so I'll chat with the whole code base let cursor figure it out and i am selecting cloud 3 sonnet here the good thing about cursor is that it can create multiple files in a go created scrape website to dot ts that's the server action but it has missed the use server thing page tsx but let's see without doing anything if it all works I'm going to accept everything because this is the these are the first files uh, to use the chat scene components you need to install them and set up correctly that is not correct do that manually install chat cn I'm gonna say npx chat scene in it, in it. So it will initialize and prepare that project for use with chat cn new york gray yes and it will create a components json file to track the cli activity let's perform what it has actually given us npm install cheerio html to text let's try npm run dev and see if it works you can just google scrape this site.com it has all these countries here let's copy that url come to our app fields to extract and the country name capital population and area country failed to scrape this website let's see what has happened all right this is that uh, missing use server server action use server here so that next js knows that needs to be executed on the server not on the client browser so let's try that again yeah a network request has been sent and connect timeout so at this point is when i ask use the command k function to do add extensive logs include the method name in logs for this i use i'm using gpt for a menu cost effective i'm going to accept that try that again converge to html test country not font capital not font population not font area not font so load html convert extract and data so <laughs> it actually doesn't we don't have the ai functionality yet so that is working markdown content oh nice so the markdown is displayed here so i've asked cursor to send the request to gpt4 or mini process in the open ai api key all right i'm just going to add my open ai api key for that you need to create an env dot local that you shouldn't add to git either going to just copy paste here so I have added my OpenAI API key to the env local file. Scrape this website. So the diff says extract fields with GPT. And let's accept that as well. Then we can change it. We don't want to use GPT-4 because that can be expensive. We also probably need to install that. Install OpenAI JavaScript package. Okay, now we have a problem that uh, the fields that the users are asking to get might not be uh, might, might be uh, is dynamic so it can change from user to user make sure the model is gpt or omini also add the 
json schema to the openai prompt and look for these fields in the response call using response format type json object schema is dynamic all right if we are looking at the if you look at the diff here we have schema properties i think openai sdk actually supports zod schemas now i think but i'm too lazy to implement all that zod is like pedantic in python zod is for node.js it is now creating a schema here please return the results according to the following schema let's see if it works be optimistic scraping completed successfully <laughs> oh yeah this only uh, takes the first country make sure the prompt is the front end should all the records okay would you look at that it did take some time i think but now you have a nice table here use chat cn data table you can also add like a documentation like this add new doc and then you can give the chat cn docs uh, since i have already done that i will go to docs and add chat cn and that let's copy that capital all right now the problem is it is taking too long get all the outputs especially if the page has a lot of data to write all that down even for one page it takes a bit of time so a better solution would be to find the elements within the html page and use cheerio to find the content of those elements let me just commit everything working with direct call to llm this is very slow use openai llm to determine css selector and then i'm going to give the notepad again basic scraping function use cheerio enter that look at, look at that that's a nice chat cn table this was a previous request that we showed there's no sort or anything like that but you get the idea population area right the, with the new changes added this updated version includes gpt 4 mini to analyze html and determine the appropriate selectors once it has the selectors, it uses Cheerio to efficiently extract the data from HTML. So let's see how fast it is compared to the other option. Country, capital, population. I think it's already done. Yeah, it's already done. Uh, yeah, that's pretty fast actually. It won't use up all the token limits either. That's the basic idea of how to create a scraper using open ai or any llm for that matter very easy to make of course if you want to get into advanced stuff scraping you will might need to implement user agent spoofing instead of using fetch you might need to use puppeteer or even use external apis like bright data or something similar to that also very useful to have a code editor like cursor so you can do that back and forth to refine the code simply ask it to spoof the user agent or instruct it to use puppeteer and then you can iterate and create a more refined version of this scraper so that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one be sure to like and subscribe and also there's a newsletter i'll be posting this code onto github post it on my the new discord server that i will be creating so everything related to ai and stuff like that ai SaaS stuff and i'll be posting on my discord